Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It is Saturday and we're hanging out with the UEC. Thank you to everyone in the UEC for once again allowing me to hang out and watch this incredible event. Today we are at the Pry House and this is always a bloodbath. Let's see who we have. It's everybody in the UEC versus everybody in the UEC. So that's the Confederate side being the 14th Louisiana, 18th North Carolina, you got your 2nd Mississippi, the 56th Virginia, and the 8th Florida. On the Union side, we have the 8th Alabama, Alabama German Legion in mass. As always, you got your 51st uh, New York, as well as your 2nd Delaware, and your 52nd New York, so the Empire over there. And they outnumber the uh, Confederates significantly. I don't know if that played a part in the last battle or not, but the Union whooping the Confederate ass in the first battle. We'll see if the Confederates can come back and... Uh, win this second one as the attacker so glad you could be here with us today for the stream sit back relax and enjoy the fun we start at the 40 minute mark and you see second mississippi with a flag 14th louisiana behind them and the confederates will attack this position in the middle of the road now question becomes do we uh, have people coming through this field or are they going to go in the next field trying to avoid the artillery on the right side of the map from the Union perspective, got a lot of Union coming out into this field. Second Delaware, those crazy Delawares, followed up by Frank and the 52nd. They're wearing their pajamas today. Look at them. And Ma and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. And we have 8th Alabama in the road. These boys are going to hold the line. There go your 51st. They also have their pajamas on, so the New Yorkers got their fancy gear on for this battle and they're going to the bloodiest side of the field on the left 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 and usually what happens in this map, they'll come straight down the road, but it looks like they're trying it different. They're coming right through the field, and this is where the artillery is. I guess they want to see themselves get exploded. 14th Louisiana, 2nd Mississippi in the hottest spot of the field, in my opinion. The most deadly coming up this way, so they're going to have to cheat toward that wall. <clears throat> they're trying to get an angle on the Union here. And the rest of the Confederates on the right, and they're moving up. This is a, uh, look at that. They put out the bait, and they're swinging their hammer to the right, 18th, and the 56th on the right side. And 8th Alabama now. The threat. And I don't see the Florida yet. So Florida's back here, maybe in reserve, maybe coming straight up. We'll go yeah, with them. Eighth Florida coming straight up the road. Company holds. Oh. Make ready. Make ready. And Make once again, Eighth Florida and Eighth Alabama Make coming head to head in a match. Fire. Mighty 88 fight really well together. They love kicking the shit out of each Fire. other too. And the Union taking a hail of lead early in this match. Ready. Kind of on their heels, Confederates. Aggressive. See, there are a lot of missing. And the artillery is yet to open up. I'm surprised. I haven't heard Tim's guns going off yet. But they've got a nice, fat, juicy target in 2nd Mississippi out here. Oh, and they've got infantry out here in their front as well. And this is Frank in your 52nd New York. But they are also in a dangerous position if the Confederates fire a gun. And I do see the Confederates with a gun. Now that the battle has started. So we'll see who's running that shit here. These are our second Mississippi boys. So our Russian friends running the big gun for the Confederates. Let's see if they can do some damage to these Yankees. You can see Winkler in the 18th and the 56th have not moved up, but the Florida is on the move, as well as the 14th Louisiana up the left side. 
So Florida falling in behind the 14th, using them as meat shields. We are as the 8th Alabama trying to clear the lane. And you can see they've been hammered in the road. They had to get off to the protection of the wall. Company take. A nice juicy target. target for Confederate guns if they can get their uh, <coughs> shot off here. This is left and more Confederates coming this way. Up the road. But the Union holding their ground. Okay, after reloads, he's fired. Hmm, there's a shot. Came up short. And so the Confederates have stalled a bit. And Florida moving up the road. Here we go. Hog and the boys getting up. <coughs> Put some more pressure on the Union. And hopping the wall. He's going to use that wall for cover and get even closer. Here they come. We'll go with the Florida right in front of the Union line. Neil to reload. Neil to reload. Hey, Alabama. <laughs> you hear Hawk calling for him. He knows exactly who he's fighting. We're getting shot at from behind us. Yeah, Hog's right. 18th should move up to try to help him. He's going to give him as much chance as he can right here in the face of the 8th Alabama. Uh, they want to try to push them off so they can get this point of contention. Oh my god, she's getting shot to pieces there. Hog getting uh, rolled up. And we got guys on their flank here. And you know it's Frank. So the Delaware's out here getting shot to pieces. Frank coming up to support. And the Florida in a really bad position here. <clears throat> and the 56th, the 18th, moving up a bit, trying to support the Florida. The Florida can't hold up much longer, and they're falling back. Oh, look at the deadly fire coming in. And the 56th and the 18th really getting raked with fire there. As the 8th Florida backs off just a bit. Union holding up a strong defense. Large artillery shot coming in, but the wall has protected them. You see on the minimap that large shell coming in. Just not close enough. Alabama already loaded when they came up. Oof. And you can see flag is still going down. 18th North Carolina, 56th Virginia trying to hold this spot. But that blue line has not moved away from the Union at all. Confederates not able to make a strong enough push to move the Union off this spot. And you can see the 51st New York and the 8th Alabama just holding a stone wall. Company loaded on the left side. Uh, Sudan. Company take. Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Recover. Cease. Come on. We're going back to the 51st. Cuba and pushing the house. Okay. On your word. And it continues. The 51st New York magnets for cannonballs this weekend. And there's another massive blast. Whew. And the Confederates moving out into the field here. Road's not working for them. They're going to try something new. Second Mississippi on the flank. And they're trying to get on the flank of the Union. Look at this gun. I was wondering why Tim's gun hadn't been firing. This is why they want to put it right up their butthole before they pull the trigger. But the second Mississippi, they got other plans. And Stein's trying to get out of here. Tim and the boys running for their lives as the Confederates push the position and take away the Union gun that they've been working so hard to get up to this point on the field. You see the New Yorkers there still. Maybe maybe they don't know the uh, Confederates are on their flank. Oh, they know it. Here they come. These got to be 8th Alabama. Yep, the Stormtroopers coming in to clear the way. And the uh, Mississippi going to get out of there if they can in front of the bayonets of the 8th Alabama. And you can see they're just pushing them all the way back to Richmond. Will they continue the attack? They're pushing right into 
the Confederate position. Alabama always aggressive. Look at this, man. And the Confederates are crumbling underneath. Underneath the weight of the 8th Alabama, 52nd came up to support as well. So this, this Union side really fighting well together this weekend. And the Confederates really in a tough position. And you see Hogg trying to get around to the right side now. And New Yorkers right in front of him, like he said. A lot of shots going high. Nice, good shots, I think, maybe. <laughs> Unless they're trying to keep the morale up of the men. And you can see the Confederates on the mini-map. They just haven't been able to push very far up this road. Union doing a great job. You can see we got New Yorkers in the field. So Frank going to march up and try to meet the 8th uh, Florida. <coughs> Florida getting supported again from the Confederates in the other side of the field. And you see some of the 52nd going down there. A lot of smoke uh, on this map. Hard to see. Oof. I think I have to so 8th Florida trying to hold their ground. So right now, Union holding their ground. You can see that thing slightly ticking away, but that might be more to, to uh, decay because they're not on the point. And Tim's got his gun back, and this is not a great sign for the Confederates. These guys are really deadly. Oh, look at this. Charge by the Union. Moving up the field, you got 8th Alabama and the 52nd New York on the left side of the Union line. These Confederates don't stand a chance over here. They're going to have to do something to get away from the fire of these units. And you see them moving across the road, trying to get away from the Union, who's pushed all the way back near the Confederate side of the road here. Aggressive play by the Union. you got to like it. And it's really paying off for them here. See if the Confederates can get their act together and put a press on the Union. Here, Winkler's coming up this way. A lot of Union flags up there, man. And Winkler trying to put a right wheel in front of these boys. Heavy fire coming in. And the 18th, 56 Virginia, 18th North Carolina getting carved up. Heavy Union presence here, right in their face. Winkler's men are brave being there, but ooh, they're they're dying pretty quickly. Flagman going down, people trying to grab the flag going down. They're getting hit on the flank. This is a terrible position to be in. He's trying to give the Confederates time to get up, but I haven't seen any real movement yet. They're all still crouched beside the wall here. And if the Confederates don't try something aggressive, they're going to get left behind. Here you go. Left flank move. And that's Matt, 14th Louisiana. So here they come. Got to try something here. This is a good position on this field, too, these, these woods and rocks here. Put some heat on Tim and the boys. And this will at least draw some, away some uh, Union forces from the road. Oh my god, heavy volley coming in. And artillery. And well, that was the 14th Louisiana. Now it's just two dudes hanging out at some rocks. Man, brutal fire. All right, Florida moved up on the right. They're on the fence here. Trying to put some pressure on the Union. But uh, no, the 8th Alabama has not retreated. <laughs> Nor are they likely to do so. They're going to be here as long as they can. Forcing the Confederates to waste lives trying to push them out of this position. You see how they've broken into an L here. And the Confederates on the fence there. 
Okay, okay fight. fight. Alright, hog on the move again. <clears throat> Going farther to the right on the flank. You hear the uh, Alabama picked up on it right away. Company, halt. Left phase. Hold the phase. At the ready. Take a. Take a. Oh, yeah. the open, boys. Shoot in the open. They got the volley off first. Fire, guys. Fire. And you can see large yeah. holes popped into Florida, nice. and Hog is dead. Hey, uh, Hog's down. I think Rich is down. Yes, oh, he is. Down. And it uh, looks yeah, like Lester might be in command here. Oh, oh, God, help us. <laughs> <laughs> Lester and Longstreet. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. These, these guys are great. Oh, well, they're dead, too. <laughs> Longstreet's like, okay, there's only three of us. Let's get out of here. God, a, an absolute... Brutal fire coming in from the 52nd. Uh, Frank and the boys, along with the 8th Alabama, just putting a lot of heat on the 8th Florida and pretty much wiping them off that Confederate right. And the Union doing a hell of a job bloodying up the Confederates all weekend long. But when you put groups together like the 8th Alabama and the 52nd New York, I mean, Jesus. 51st New York, too, but the, of course, uh, those guys getting blasted by artillery. <laughs> <laughs> All weekend. Right we, uh, left we, uh, uh, it might suck uh, to live through it, boys, but it's awesome to watch on camera. Private so I hope you enjoy it later. Even though you might not be enjoying it now. And you can see 8th Alabama 52nd holding it. Just an impenetrable uh, left flank for the Union. Mississippi trying to crouch up this wall here. Flagman going down, but the Confederates are engaged. 24 left in the match. And the Confederates on their heels as the attacker. They have more tickets. They should have higher morale, but instead, the Union bloodying them up every time they try to come up this road. 51st New York standing still in the hottest spot for artillery fire. They've already been wiped this way once on this map, multiple times in the other. They don't care. They're fighting as a unit. They're brave, and they're going to put a lot of heat on the Confederates right here anytime they try to come up this wall. So the Union doing a textbook defense of this position. We'll go ahead and get some cinematics. You see the Union just flooding into the field here. That is a not good place to spawn. And you see the Union in the street. There's one flag moving to the left. Recover arms. Recover! I'm zone. Fire! No! You can see these guys, these serpents just holding their position, man. I think we have one behind us, yeah. Chest is very nice. Looks like we got a rogue private from the 51st New York. <coughs> Cover these. Oh, yeah. Left face. Left face. Forward, double quick. Forward, double quick. Forward, double quick. All right, they're gonna move out of this position. We got Union flooding back this way. It's the Eighth Alabama. Uh, so the Confederates might be making some progress here. You see, they're finally trying to get together as a cohesive unit. Fifty-second and Eighteenth been fighting together pretty well today, and they've got the largest mass of men. Uh, but they're playing more defense than offense right now. And we've got oh Confederates on the right. That's your 8th Florida, 14th Louisiana getting chewed to pieces here. And they're trying to move back out of the fire. So the Confederates push back all the way on their heels here. And the Union, even though they're playing defense, really aggressive in the center. And really putting a beat down on the Confederates for the whole weekend so far. So great communication by the Union. Okay, by the please. right into line. By the right into line. March. Uh, 
And the 8th Alabama. All right, so the Union finally engaged. 21 minutes left in the match, but they're way ahead in tickets. <laughs> and that confidence is leading them right into the uh, guns of the Confederates. They're walking right up to the spawn, basically. And finally taking some fire from the Confederates. Company make ready. <clears throat> They're going to make themselves a target for that Confederate gun as well. So Tiberius got his guys right up here in front, as they are wont to do. And I don't see any gunners. Well, there's a couple trying to come back. Tim is really making it hard on him, it looks like. And it's given these Union guys the uh, control of the field. It's like air superiority. Independent fire. You see 14th trying to put something together. All right, here come the Confederates up the road. And this is your 2nd Mississippi Battalion coming up this way. It's our Russian friends. Stormtroopers of the uh, Confederates today going up against the 8th Alabama. They're completely surrounded, and they've got a gun way up here. Is this another gun? Oh, my God. Look at this. These guys are absolutely insane. Oh, it's the 51st. Silver Smurfin and the boys, Jesse. They got their gun up on the left-hand side. Uh, this is real danger on the Confederate left. Damn, man, if you got to go up against Tim's guys on one gun and the 51st on the other, are you out of... That's, that's an incredible uh, hill to climb on any map. Oh, man, these Confederates are doomed. <laughs> And the 8th Alabama still pressing forward on the fence now. Right up in the face of these Confederates. And 8th Florida just getting decimated once again. 18th North Carolina, 56 coming up on their right for support. And they're bypassing the 8th Alabama. Continuing into the New Yorkers and the Delaware. I already heard a counter charge by Frank. And the New Yorkers chasing the Confederates back all the way. There's slaughter. It's too many, he says. No, 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 no. It's the whole Union Army. They fought together as one unit all weekend, and it's really paying off. And the Confederates look confused, man. This is not good. They're having a real hard time trying to push. And, you know, again, let's be fair. Union has a few more men. That does happen. But no excuses. Confederates just not able to fight together as one cohesive unit so far this weekend. And it's really showing. You can see these Union forces staying right together. Pushing as a group. You see they're supporting each other. You got the 8th Alabama up front. You got the 52nd and Frank moving up. So you got an attack squad on both sides with a with reinforcements behind them. And each side has its own artillery piece. I don't know that you can do a better defensive uh, stand on this map than what the uh, Union's doing right here. So bravo to the Union on... Really doing this right. Two reserve units, two attacking units, one on each side, and they're just pushing up this road. The only reason they haven't gone any further into the Confederate spawn is because it's against the rules of the UEC. And uh, so far, the Confederates, again, spreading out. And 14th Louisiana trying to get an angle on this Confederate, or this uh, Union juggernaut here. And the Confederates trying to lick their wounds, get back into this thing. <clears throat> but we only have 
the Russians who not completely Lloyd listen and the 14 who always want to retreat. Yeah. We can go in the middle, but we need a unit on the left and we need a unit on the right. <laughs> 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 but uh, do you want to shoot or do you want to charge? Because we need to well, get no. towards them. And Jehovah stream, yeah. Uh, it's up on got side. It's in by Jehovah. Uh, yep, I'm streaming, boys. Look for yeah. your names. But yeah, then well. we need the Russians to get in. Appreciate you letting me be here yeah. to film this. Yeah. It's looking awesome. I know you guys are having a tough weekend, but hang in there. You're doing great. And you can see. Better, it's already on the move. While they're talking about it, Second Mississippi ain't yes. done talking. They're ready to fight, and they're in it. Attacking straight into the 8th Alabama if they have no support. And the 8th Alabama has the 52nd in support. Just an absolute killing field. Just a dead zone for the Confederates here. And the 2nd Mississippi has no chance against two of the finest units in the UEC. Uh, they're holding their ground. They're brave, man. These Russian boys know how to fight. And they're not afraid to do it. Yeah, you hear Hog coming up this way. And this is your 8th Florida getting into the mix. They're going against the Alabama. Once again, Mighty 88 going head to head. And it looks like the reserves are coming up. Mississippi, we have to you just volley, advance use cover, the push yeah. up to the next ridge line, volley, push up, you know. He's right, but they don't have enough men. You can see the Union, or the Confederates, pushing up on the right here. So this is exactly what you have to do. He's exactly right. That's how you attack this position. Yeah, and if they can kill some of those Alabama while they're on their knees loading, they might be in an even better position. The Confederates engage 14 minutes left in this match. And they're trying to make a push up the road here on both sides. <clears throat> That's the 18th and the 56th. 18th North Carolina, 56th Virginia on the right. And Hogg moving up into the face of the 8th Alabama. This is danger close. Trying to pour fire into the Alabama. They've got this little nook here that they're hiding in. That's a great little uh, hole, and it's hard for the Confederates to hit them. Look at them. Oh, God, they're rising up. Eighth Florida in danger. Massive volley, but the Florida surviving it as well. These guys firing blanks into each other right here. This, these rolling hills, man, it just makes it hard to get a good aim. You see a couple Alabama going down there. Links. And the Confederates on the Confederate right falling back to the Union fire. Heavy, brutal fire. And both sides just trying to survive here. Hog's got the right idea, but it might be a little late. Only 13 minutes left. Rise up. Hey, you hear the huzzah. The Confederates are now taking losses. And the Union showing no sign of giving up this position anytime soon. The reserves have come up. Second Delaware guarding the flank. 52nd New York moving off. Okay, so they're moving back into the reserve position or watching the flank as the Confederates trying to get something working on the right, but it's just Rambos. There's nothing much happening over here now. They're all dead. So you see a lot of Confederates still at spawn. Florida trying to get something going up here, but they're all alone. On our left, right and here they come. The, the New Yorkers charging out the position in the 8th Florida. Getting overrun by the Snakes. Florida trying their best to survive. There aren't many left. And here come the Mississippi. So second Mississippi trying to come up and assist. Florida is completely wiped. 51st still in position, but they're finally falling back. See this big old tall dude. Sergeant just stabbing everybody. And the Union flag on the field. 
But the 50 second is real close. Or is that the Confederate flag? That's a Union flag, right? <coughs> I believe it is. I don't see how. That's 52nd New York flag? No? 51st New York flag. So, 8th Alabama still here. 51st New York coming in, wiping the Confederates, and they're going to try it again. 11 minutes left in the match. You see the blue line ticking away, but that's mostly decay because they're not anywhere near the point of contention. They're far beyond it, pressing the Confederates back into their spawn. When the admin has to tell the... Uh, attacking army not to fire into spawn that probably means that they're real close to it all right winkler changing sides he's going to go up the left side now yeah with the 18th and the 56th playing together like this really well uh they've got the largest mass of men for sure on the confederate side but the 14th seem to be doing their own thing. They keep uh, trying the flank there. Frank coming around, getting back on the other side of the field. And so the New Yorkers will line up in uh, right in the face of the Confederates. Oh, and they're coming right in front of them. Look at this. Oh, 14th Louisiana trying the flank. 52nd caught them, and it's a turkey shoot. They're going to kill them each individually, and they're coming around behind them. And here come the 8th Alabama as well. These Confederates charging out the guns. But they're going to die for their efforts. As the half of the Union Army come pouring down, two-thirds of the Union Army pouring down on the Confederates here. Will the other Confederate units take this as uh, an opportunity to get up this road? Looks like they're trying to anyway. So Winkler, so it looks like the 14th did a little bit of strategy to pull the Union off the road, and this is allowing the 14th or the uh, 18th North Carolina, the 56th Virginia, second Mississippi up the left side of the road, and they did miss on the volley. And here come the whole Confederate Army, finally fighting as one unit, and they're coming right into the teeth of the Union at the point of contention. Second Delaware trying to hold the position. Confederates with a coordinated attack, and you can see the difference it makes. So they got a whole lot of Union on their flank. And Hog going straight in, telling the boys to charge their bayonets. He's dead. They don't want him to stop. They don't want him to stop. They've got to keep pushing. And you see the Union flag running for it. James Ryan, he's trying to get out of there. And they've done it, but they've got Tim's gun behind them. Right behind him. they got more Confederate or Union coming in. Eighth Alabama, but we're tied up. Eight minutes left in the match. And the Eighth Alabama flooding in. As you hear the Rebel yell. And the Confederates have pushed out the 51st off their gun. That's the 14th Louisiana, Matt and the boys. Man, what a battle. And Tim and the guys had their gun out, but no more Confederates to kill. The Confederates have been pushed off the center position by the 8th Alabama and the rest of the Union Army. That's as close as the Confederates have come yet. There's still a few of them back here. And the Confederates not wanting to give up on the momentum that they've created so far. They're still flooding in. But uh, the Union, they know about it now. So the Confederate attack comes up empty. And the Union holding the Pry House. The Confederates realize they have to get it dirty at the end here. You have to be, uh, okay. Right face? The road or the right more of the wall? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. Ish. But there it is. The left face? Give me the right face. Right. The enemy makes the move. Over the wall. Over the wall. Over the wall. And we're with the 51st Over New York the gun the crew, the Kentucky Battery. See our boy Silver Smurf in there. Dot point. New, okay. I think, to this. 
And an old Jesse. And they want to put that shell right against that wall on this side as soon as the Confederates show themselves. But it looks like they're going to turn it to the fence. Oh, you're like actually Because they can actually see down the hill. They can see the fence there and they want to hit it. That fence is pretty good cover and they've uh, seemed to have adjusted the game where if the shell hits the fence, uh, you don't lose as many men. All right, so the Confederates are grouped up. Here they come. Coming up the wrong side of the field for the 51st and Kentucky Battery. But Tim's gun is still over here, 14th Louisiana in the front. They're in the vanguard, and they're coming up right close and personal to the Delaware in the road. <laughs> and here they come, another mad rush by the Confederates. Oh my god, look at the ragdolls. Confederates in mass, and they're pushing. They're still pushing into the uh, reinforcements, the 52nd New York. But you see the Confederate attacks kind of run out of steam here. They're at the point of contention. But it absolutely surrounded by Union, and now the Confederates are breaking. This could spell doom for the boys in the butternut and gray today. And here come the New Yorkers. 52nd New York on the push. And the Mississippi are in for it now. See even more of the 52nd pouring in to that spot. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in the battle. And another Confederate attack coming up empty. So the Union commanding presence so far today. But it's taking everything they've got to do it. You can see the Union uh, numbers not that great right here. And the Confederates doing everything they can to dwindle them away. Four minutes. They've got, they could probably do another, a couple another of these pushes. Get a couple more of these things in if they wanted to. Hell, maybe. They're already breaking, man. Oof. You're going to get a final push real quick, and it's going to be ugly when the Confederates run out of men. Oh, look at this gun. Hilarious. <clears throat> so I'm hearing that Tim is like an expert at knocking these guns over. I don't know if that's true, but I do see evidence of it every single week. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of a cannon flipped over and... It's usually on the other team from what Tim is playing on. His boys are pretty good. And the Washington guys here trying to get sight on the enemy artillery. And you can see they're trying their best. How effective have they been? Well, let's just check the bodies here. And I think mostly infantry dead on the field here from the uh, multiple attacks. 256 left in the match. And we got Union firing here. Oh boy. It is impressive to see that many coming at you all at once. And it looks like they're going to swing out hard again. This is probably 14th Louisiana. Yep, Matt and the boys trying to get the attention of the Army. And they did this on the left side earlier. Drew away most of the uh, Union Army as the Confederates' main attack came in. It's not a bad try. But I don't know if the Union's buying it this time. They seem to be stuck in place, and here come the attacks from the Confederates. Oh, a brutal fire. They're just running into a wall of lead. And the Union forces holding strong. More Confederates pouring in, but the countercharge in effect. Second Delaware, those crazy Delawares coming into the flank. And the Floridians have no chance here. You can just see the Confederates trying their best, but there's just too many Union soldiers. And the Confederates outnumbered. Just getting gunned to pieces here. 
But you gotta hand it to them. They're brave. They keep pushing that position. Only one minute, 30 seconds left in the match. Yeah, we got them all. And the Confederates are gonna need a miracle now. Yo, donut. Hey. They definitely have time for one more push. Hopefully they can get it in. And look, the Union have left them an island here. We got some 8th Florida, 14th Louisiana, couple second Mississippi's here. So we got some Confederates here still. They're guarding a Union flag. Corporal Dot Point trying to come out and get his flag back. Trying to slice him up. All right, well. You can see that Union flag looking pretty, just stuck in the ground there. Just tempting these New Yorkers to come and get it. That's exactly what they're doing. Livingston grabbing it but getting killed immediately. And Slaughter, he doesn't want you taking that flag back from New York, friend. Manfred trying to get it, but you can see the 8th Florida coming in. Union now taking losses, and here come the 14th Louisiana. Here comes the push. Union did not get strong reinforcements, but here they come now. 14th Louisiana in their backs. 18 seconds left in the match. It's not going to happen. Can't get enough Confederates here on time. And the Union able to hold. Here they come. Confederates are going to force an overtime. Hog out front. They want to hold here. But that's it. It's over. Another Union victory. Well, a well-played match by both sides. The Confederates just outnumbered a little bit, but just never could get a strong push down the center of that road. Uh, they tried their damnedest, though, and I really like that, that attack idea where Matt and the guys would distract the Union Army. It worked a couple times. That third time, they weren't falling for it. They were just holding that road like an anchor, and it really paid off. Philip Pry had built his farm with the help of his brother Samuel from the ground up in 1844. But 20 quiet years meant little to the army that needed to bend the land to their needs. With its commanding view over much of the prospective battlefield to the west, General McClellan and his staff were quick to make use of the western overlook and even the attic roof access hatch to survey the battlefield and divvy out orders. The house and barn were also a convenient field hospital and headquarters of Major Letterman, the medical director for the Army of the Potomac. His revamping of the entire medical corps, which he had conceived the month prior, would be put to the test with the immense amount of wounded that would result from the battle. Meanwhile, Lee was riding up and down the lines to actually More talk to his commanders in person. Union forces headed next into the West Woods, a disjointed polygon of woodland that divided the old Mary Grove Locker land tract and Is the, the Muma farm, farm on fire. The Union 2nd Corps under General Edwin Sumner had crossed over Antietam Creek and joined the fray. But as they marched toward the burning Mama Farm, Sedgwick's 2nd Division suddenly became isolated when General French became confused on which direction to go and mistakenly took his division south, leaving Sedgwick vulnerable and alone as the trees enveloped his men, many to never return. Yeah, it's a great point. That West Woods got pretty dirty right there. Those uh, Confederate reinforcements came up and just bloodied those uh, Yankees in the, the woods. And it was really poor leadership because they were, <clears throat> they, were all, they were blocking each other. So the Union couldn't bring their full firepower. They were marching too close. Couldn't bring their full firepower to bear. And so the Confederates just pushed right through them, pushed them out of the West Woods. All right, anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the weekend and had a great time. If you did, consider subscribing, uh, following us here on Twitch. Subscribe if you can. Uh, we do appreciate it. All the money that we earn on the channel goes right back into the channel. Like I said, I'm paying off this uh, second computer now for <laughs> what we're doing. So we're just trying to uh, do this the right way. So uh, jump on board. Join the team. We're all working together to make this game as good as it can be and trying to get it out there in front of people. And it's such a great time. It's a good community. So if you want to join any of these units, just uh, hook, hit us up on Discord. My Discord's there. Most of these guys are there, so you can talk to any of them on the Discord. So until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.